Hello, children. Back to the fight for first. Okay, I'm sorry. <laughs> that was so bad. I think if I had one skill that was like, just being like, okay, not a skill, the opposite of a skill. If there was one thing I'm like the worst at, it's impersonations. I'm just so bad. So, oh God, I'm just so bad at them. Okay, so we're 11 and three, 1634. Uh, let's. I really want to get up into that 1700 range. I'm bringing back, or not bringing back. I'm still using Del Fox here. Uh, I really think there's a lot of potential. I just think it's cool, actually, because it's got that thing in its tail, like whips it out. All right, let's see here. Um, two potential Megas. You're never gonna see them all. It's not Mega. That doesn't mean that's Charizard Y though. It could be Charizard X, which would be really scary. Zoom rolls out here. Uh, I definitely want to threaten. Um, That town flame off the bat. As well as that guard chomp, though. I don't want to just let it out here for free. Um, let's see here. Okay, I think a mix between Rotom and the Intimidate from Salamis should give me a good start. Tyranitar in here in case he does set up Sun. Always want to stop that. Heat wave in the sun's too powerful. It also gave me a good counter against um, Talonflame. And um, it'll help against Meowstic. And I can Ice Beam that Garchomp. Now, really tough decision here. What's really threatening these guys here? Kind of Garchomp. I don't like that Azumarill either. I'll go with them all while. For the Intimidate, um, also neutral, play rough, pretty strong. We'll see how this goes. Very interested. Um, I'm not a big fan of seeing Azumarill on the other team just because I've run into too many of those belly drum stuffs. Okay, okay. Well, Tyranitar would have been an amazing start. That's okay. Um, I could switch him all while here, which would... Probably my best bet, because if he does go for a Solar Beam, it's going to force him into moves next turn that will give me a safe switch into my own Tyranitar. Um, how much does Dragon Pulse do to Guard Chomp? Will it put it within Rock Slide range? Probably not. I'll Draco it. We'll see how this goes. I do have Habin, so. And here comes another Intimidate. I probably should just Dragon Pulse it. I really, see, here the thing is, look, what has he got? I know he's two things out here to super effect him all while, but neither of which were going to come on this turn. He wasn't going to Heat Wave. It is a Y. Um, it wasn't going to be a Heat Wave. It's going to be a Solar Beam for Rotom and a Rock Slide or a Dragon Claw towards Salamence, right? And so next turn, what is it? What threatens Mawile, Earthquake, or Heatwave? Both. Well, okay, I guess Earthquake's not the best switch in for uh, for Tyranitar, but it's at minus two. Ooh, this has been a service announcement from Miss. Every time you use an attack. You know who misses every time they use an attack? This guy. Like, no kidding, I miss every time I use an attack.
Oh, la la la. All right, double switch in here. Hoping he doesn't go for an earthquake. If he does, you know, he's minus two. Um, I want to save both my Intimidates in the back here. He was going to Heat Wave this turn. I'm wondering if that guy is not locked. If you burn me... Oh, thank God. Oh, thank God. Okay, Charizard's going out. Um, the rest of his team... Look, this, this guard chomps at minus two. I'm gonna Willowist that spot. Um, I do have a lot of opportunity to... Let's see, what else do you have? He had an Azumarill. He had in a... Uh, probably should have wrote this down. I know he had a Talonflame. He's definitely switching, but to what? He had a Mawile. You know what? I'm actually gonna Thunderbolt. Oh god, I'm gonna run out of time. And I'm gonna Ice Beam. Okay, good stuff. That thing is scarfed. Okay, this dude just got a scarf guard chomp out here. That's gonna die, at least. And I leave sand up. 